folk tales. The Witch. Once upon a time, there lived an old man who had three sons. When all three were fully grown, they decided to marry and told their father of their wish. Very well, but one at a time. I want you all to take a walk, and the one who returns with the prettiest flowers will be the first to marry. The two elder brothers did not even leave the village. Both of them had a sweetheart, so each of them brought a nice bunch of flowers back to their father. The youngest son, however, had no sweetheart, so he went out of the town to look for flowers. He walked and he walked until he eventually came to a vast forest, in the middle of which he came across an old palace surrounded by a flower garden. Oh, if only I could pick flowers in this beautiful garden. The youngest son was still standing there when a witch appeared in the garden and asked him, Why are you so sad, my child? Then the young man told her what his problem was. If all you need are flowers, come with me and I shall give you some. Then she took him into the garden and picked a bunch of beautiful flowers. As soon as the poor man caught sight of the flowers, he said to his eldest sons, Well, sons, it will be your younger brother who will marry first because he has returned with the best blossoms. But the elder brothers complained to their father so bitterly that he eventually agreed to set a second test. Very well, the second test shall be he who brings back the prettiest kerchief shall be the one to marry first. So the sons went off, the two elder ones to their sweethearts in the village, and the youngest one to the witch in the forest. What do you need this time, my child? The youngest son told her, and so the old witch went back into the palace and brought the young man a beautiful gold-trimmed kerchief that bedazzled the boy. The two elder brothers also brought a kerchief each, but the youngest son's was by far the loveliest of the lot. The elder brothers were very upset, and so their father eventually agreed to set a third test. Very well, go and bring me your sweethearts. He who brings me the loveliest girl shall be the one to marry first. This was easy for the two elder brothers because they both had sweethearts in the village. But where, oh where, should the youngest brother look for a bride? Who could he take to his father? Should he fetch the old witch who had given him the flowers and the kerchief? So the youngest son set off with his head hung low. He walked into the forest, stopped in front of the palace and leaned against the fence with a face as sad as the autumn rain. What's the matter with you, my child? Oh, don't even ask me what the matter is. My father told us that the son who took the prettiest sweetheart home would be the first to marry. Don't hang your head, my child, but come with me to the palace. Here's a fireplace, make a fire. With every flame that flickers up, a witch will appear before your eyes. Fear not and stand bravely there until you see the last and ugliest witch of all that will have a bunch of keys between her teeth. Then you need to snatch the keys, otherwise the rest of the witches will tear you apart. And now the rest is up to you. Saying nothing more, the old witch vanished. The young man made a fire in the fireplace, and as the flames began to grow and crackle, a witch emerged from the flames. The youngest son was so afraid that a shiver of fright ran down his spine. Then a second flame leapt forth, producing a second witch. Then many more witches followed this one. Eventually, the last witch appeared with a bunch of keys between her teeth. The youngest son gathered all his courage and snatched the keys and, wonder of wonders, the ugly witch turned into a beautiful princess. The youngest son was too surprised to speak. All the witches then vanished from the room and were replaced by a throng of graceful maidens. Then the pretty princess said, you must be very surprised. I'll have you know that I was the old witch who gave you the flowers and the kerchief. You must have been sent here by God because I was a princess and a spell was cast on me. Had you not appeared, I would have remained an old witch and now we shall be together for the rest of our natural days. The poor man was in good spirits and said, very well, I will let my elder sons marry too. And that they did. 
and their younger brother gave them each a house with plenty of land. Then the youngest and most fortunate son took his bride back to the palace where they lived happily ever after.